In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the nesting tool in the Cut File Manager. Now, nesting automatically positions your artwork based on the groups within the cut file to minimize layout time and vinyl wastage. Now, to best show you that, I'll go to page 2 here. You can see I've imported these clip art images here, and I've typed in some of this text. And I want to take all these objects together and send them to the Cut File Manager, where I'll then nest them together. So I'll show you how to do that. We just select over them like this. Come up to this button up here, send a cut file. We click on that and our cut file manager loads up. I'll just fit this into our recording area like so. And we'll work with the arranged cut file tab up here. So I'll click on that and we'll tile this to media so we see both of our vinyl tiles here. And we can see here that we're using all this media here, all this vinyl, uh, for these objects. And we're using nearly 35 inches in this direction and around 33 and a half inches in this direction. So we're using a lot of media to cut out these objects, so we're wasting all this vinyl in here, which we really don't need to waste that. So to overcome that problem, we just uh, use the nesting tool, which is up here, nest. And if I click on this tool here, you can see what's happened. The objects have all been positioned or repositioned to take up a lot less media. And I can click on that again, and again, and again, as many times as I like until I'm happy with the results. And as you can see here, we've got 16 and a half inches by 21.6 inches. So we're using far less media to cut the same, uh, the same objects. And once we're happy with that, we can do things like uh, speed weed it, as you can see. And now that we're ready to cut this, we can come down to Cut All here, click that, and in the vinyl spooler you can see what's happened. We're now using far less vinyl or media or, or material here to either cut this or plot it or whatever we're doing. Uh, and that's the advantage of nesting. It saves a lot of media, as you can see. Now before I mention groups, at the moment you can see these are all individual items. Now by groups, I'll just cancel out of this, by groups what I'm talking about is that when you send uh, objects like this to the cut file manager, when they're quite a far way apart like this, they're seen as individual objects. But if you bring them in a bit closer to each other like so, as I'm doing here, and then we send these to the, um, to the cut file manager, I'll just select over this, back up to Cut File Manager and I'll just resize it again. We'll go to the Arrange Cut File tab, Tile to Media and we've got these pieces here. Now when I click Nest you can see that it's not doing quite as good a job as what it was before because it's seeing these things as a group. So if you're using Nest and you're not getting the results that you're expecting it may well be because the items have been grouped together. And of course you can ungroup the items. I mean you can simply come down here and click Ungroup and now these are separate items uh, and that's how we um, how we overcome that problem if, if it is a particular problem in a, uh, in a job like this. So when we click Nest the, the results are better but if, clearly we need to break these even further apart at the moment because they're, they're too close together like this one here's a good example so if I ungroup that now this text isn't text anymore these are individual letters so I need to regroup these as so and when I nest now you can see it's now starting to come back into a much better result so that's how nesting works. You've got this nesting button up here and it repositions all the uh, objects back on to the vinyl uh, to save a lot of media. Uh, and that's the end of this lesson.